hey welcome back guys okay so so far we can update existing records here quite easily now we are using our OOP setup here but now what I want to do is to be able to create new records in the database so I'm going to go to my uh, classes and user class.php so we do have this one this one query where we can get by id right so i'm just going to copy this and put it inside the get by email the only thing i will change is uh these three ids here i'll change them to email so that it becomes where email is equal to email and then i do supply the actual email here okay now it's also important to because this is an email i might want to validate this just in case uh, but uh, maybe we can leave the validation to 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 an outside the part that is calling this function so that we reduce the code here now if you notice here there's one thing uh, going on there's get by id and then there's get by email however if we go back to our if we go back to our database here let me go to um, OOPDB that's the one right there and I'm going to go to my users tab users table let me zoom out a bit so here what I'm looking at is all these uh, columns here so it's possible that one day I may want to find a user via username i may want to find one via email and then via id or via date or gender so instead of me creating functions here that say get by i email get by that get by this that may become a little bit difficult because also keep in mind that during my uh it's very possible that I may create new columns as I go then it means I need to create a new function here in order to cater for that new column that in itself is not sustainable so what we will do instead is we're going to convert this so that it automatically even though the function like this does not exist we can still call it and actually get the result we want so we're going to do that shortly but for now I'm going to leave it like this as we continue for now let's concentrate on the create function so I just explained this so that you keep in mind that we're going to do that eventually or maybe I'm torn between these two maybe we should start with this get by Okay, let's just run through it rather quickly so that uh, we move on to the create version there. So let me create a function here. Now, this function is going to be a magic method call like that. So what the magic method does, the call, oh, I forgot function there, like so. Like I explained in an earlier video, this one is called whenever I try to run a function that does not exist. But I need to give it two parameters here. I need to know the function that was I, I was trying to call. And then I need to get the parameters as an array as well. So in my case, if for example I call get by email and then I pass email there, what will happen is this function text is going to contain this name of the function I'm trying to call. And then params is going to be an array with one item containing that. If there were two items like this, the array will contain all those items in there. Okay, so let's replace get by ID and get by email with only this one function here. All right, so so far we can get somebody by email, we can get by ID. So let's just see that in action so that we know what we're running against here. So here, if I come down here and say, I want to remove this update so I'm going to uh, comment that out here instead of get all I want to get by 
get by id okay and then i'll put my id there which is two like so okay so here what emails we have john at mail mary one at mail okay that's okay now if i refresh i do get the one record with that one id that is well and good but let's try get by email so let's go to the email here and i'm just going to add an email i'll start with the john at yahoo.com like that and if i refresh i get nothing okay so why did i get nothing here that was unexpected because it's john at mail.com okay so that that was my bad it didn't find anything so it's at mail.com like so so back here refresh and you see the record has been brought to light if i do mary one here at yahoo.com that should also bring up a second record which is like that but then now that we know that this works actually these two functions work i want to replace them so what i would do here is i'll just copy this right here and put it in here like so okay so it's exactly what we are dealing with here the only difference is i want this that and that variable so as you can see here this email is the last part of get by so it's the same thing here when i say get by underscore and then there's id it's the same thing over there as well okay so what i want to do now is because once i call these functions and they do not exist this will be called instead so let's see that in action as well i'm going to say echo uh call just there like so and now i want to comment these bad boys out up to there like that so they do not exist anymore so if i now refresh i get call which means the function that has run is this one even though i was trying to get by email but I got this, I didn't get an error, which is important. Instead, this function ran. So all I need to do now is to figure out how to put these guys that I needed from what I get here. So the very first thing I know, I know is that whatever the ID is going to be, whether it's email, um, it's ID, is going to be inside these params right here. So it's going to be the first item in the params. So I'm just going to get the very first item there. <clears throat> okay, so that represents email in our case, this value here, okay? But then we need to capture this column name here because this is the column name and this is the value. So instead of ID, let's say value, maybe something like that. And then let's make one for column. So we want to know the column name. The column name is going to be equal to function. Whatever is contained in function will be this whole thing. But we only want what remains once we remove get by underscore, something like this. So what we would do is do a string replace, like so. And then what are we searching for? We are searching for get by, like so. And then replace that with an empty string. And then what is the subject? The subject is the function uh, parameter itself whatever function we're trying to call that's the column okay so now we do have a column we do have a value so let me copy this column now it's important to sanitize this data because although we are using prepared statements remember that we have to prepare the query first so if the query itself contains uh, issues then things won't work well. So we can leave the value out, that's okay. But just to be safe, I just want to sanitize the column like that. Okay, great. So column is equal to add slashes column. That's good enough for me. And then I will put column over here. So I'm going to concatenate column like so. Oops. And then delete that leave the equal sign 
and then <clears throat> excuse me there and then again i will put column name there like so and then also what do you know i have to put column name over here so i'm still going to use column here like so oops my mouse has frozen up so that column and then finally we add the value here like so okay great i think uh, this is looking good now let's begin and try to do this and see if it actually works so keep in mind that we don't have these two functions ready here so let me come back here and refresh okay so undefined variable so i think i i forgot a c on line 55 where is that right here okay there we go that's what i forgot and let's refresh and as you can see i did get the result that i wanted even though the function doesn't exist anymore we are recreating this function right here so the beauty of this is now instead of just get by email i can actually do get by id and it will still work as well so get by id for example and then i'm going to put an id of my choice maybe id2 like so and then i can refresh and you see it's the same uh, item here maybe let me try a different id just to confirm let's try id1 okay so we get that item now the advantage of doing this you might think okay we are back to square one but we are not because at this point i can do get by username so let me try john2 or mary1 here for a second so instead of just get by email get by id i can say get by username like so without having to create a new function in the first place so i can say john2 like that get by username so let's come back here and refresh we still get the same result let's see if we can get by mary one like so because that's the username refresh and there we go so you see you can use any of the columns to do this now what if a column does not exist what happens so let's just try username one like so and then come back here and refresh okay so here we get an exception where it says column not found hmm okay in the where clause so we don't like uh errors like this this breaks our program and we don't want to have such things happen so let's figure out a way we can get rid of this 